Let's talk about gastrointestinal drugs, which are basically medications that is focused on the digestive system and its disorders. Now let me say that I find it easier to understand if I try to focus on the needs of these drugs corresponding to the various disorders within the GI system. With that in mind, I came up with the acronym of 6ANs, or 6ANs, right? Which basically describes the first two letters, which is AN, of the major drugs that we need to focus on in this system. And those group of drugs would include antiemetics, antacids, anorexients, anticholinergics, anti-secretory agents, and antidiarrheals. Of course, there's also going to be a couple of groups whose names does not begin with AN, right? Such as cathartics or laxatives, and also pancreatic enzymes. Let's first begin with antiemetics. We can simply say that antiemetics is used to help alleviate nausea and vomiting, right? And if you want to go even deeper into that, into the physio physiology of an antiemetic, it basically diminishes the sensitivity of what we call the chemoreceptor trigger zone, which when, becomes, when it becomes irritated, causes us to vomit. For this group in the NCLEX, I want to focus on five specific drugs that you might or will encounter in the NCLEX exam, okay? Now, the first two would be what we call phenothiazines. Now, remember when I mentioned before about the chemoreceptor trigger zone, or from now on, we're just going to call it trigger zone, okay? Now, with the chemoreceptor trigger zone, when it gets irritated it actually causes an excitement right and it causes us to vomit it causes excitement within the system that causes us to vomit now dopamine which as we know is a neurotransmitter is actually required for for some of the conduction of the impulses um to see more videos like this or check out other nclex resources that can help you review for your nclex exam please visit allnursingnotes.com that's allnursingnotes.com or just click the link below